What's up guys? Today we are back with another video. Uh, we saw this video on the internet where they caught worms with dish soap. So we wanted to try ourselves and today we're going to be trying to catch worms with this dish soap right here. Let's get started. So the materials you need for this are, you can have one big container but we don't have a big one so we're just getting two little containers to carry the water and the dish soap in. Um, you need dish soap, you need uh, a cup or a bowl to put the worms in when you catch any, and a rake to clear out the leaves or like the brush so it's just dirt so you can see the worms coming up. And you do not want to try this on grass because the dish soap will make the grass so it won't grow and it will die right there. So you want to try it out in the woods where you don't really care if the grass dies. Let's get into it. So first you got to do is fill up your containers with some dish soap. It doesn't really matter how much you put in there, you just want a solid amount in there. So, put your dish soap in there. That's probably good. And then, put your dish soap in the other container. That's probably good. Then, over here with your hose, get your hose. Fill your containers up with water. Then after that's done, you wanna you should just water up. You wanna mix up. You wanna mix it up so all so it's really foamy because the worms don't like the foamy water, and they they don't like the soapy water, and they'll come up to the surface when you pour it on there. So now that that's ready, you got the container for the worms and. We'll see you guys when we get to the spot. So we made it to the spot and there's a whole bunch of leaves and we're going to rake out the leaves and make like a nice open spot where it's dirt so you can see the worms come up. So just rake all this out. So now that we got our area raked out and there's no more leaves and you can see the bear dirt, we're going to pour a little bit of this dish water soap, or this dish water water. <laughs> and now we just wait until the worms come out. So that's Gage and this is Gavin's first time on, our, on the channel. Gage has already been here. but um. So now all we have to do is wait until the worms come up. Oh, they found a worm. One of the worms came up. Kevin, get it, get it, get it. Okay, he caught it. Put it back, put it in the cup, put it in the cup. So we're gonna go fishing this weekend, so we need some worms. So we just wanted to try this and see if it works. We have, so far we got one, one worm came up. See if any more come up. Okay, one's poking its head off. Get him, get it. Oh, show it, show it, show the camera. Oh, he got one. Little baby. Okay, put it in the cup. So far we've gotten two. It's working okay. There's been a whole bunch of little tiny ones, but nothing too big. So, last spot we caught two. We're gonna try this spot. This spot looks a little bit better. It's darker dirt. And let's see, we're gonna pour a little bit of Soap water on there. Let's see if that way a little bit. Okay, two already came up. There's one right there, and then there's one right there. Can you have him catch him? Got one. 
I got two. You got I two? Got both. You got both? Now get that one right there. Right there. Oh, wait. You caught it. One fell. You got it? Yeah, but one fell out of my hand. Okay, put them in the bucket. Oh, wait, another one? Okay. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Oh, right there. It's a little bugger. Bring his one. Oh, this one's worth. This one's. This one's working a lot better than the last one. The last one, there's only two. Wait. I didn't know. Right, right. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, I got him. He's in that big dirt. Oh, right there he is. That's a big one. It's, it's a pretty big one. Okay, put him in the This spot's a lot better than the last one. Last one, we like that, too. I missed, I missed. Ugh. I got one. Got another one. This spot's way better. I got one. A little tiny one. Kevin had to dig deep down in there. You got him? Pull him out. Don't break him in half. Oh, you broke him in half. That's okay. We can. Oh, another one. This spot's. Get him, get him. Oh, nice one. Oh, that's a that's a nice one right there. This spot's a lot better than the last one. I'm gonna go check another one. This is the last spot we did. There wasn't really nothing. Only we only caught two little tiny ones. Don't see anything. But let's go back over to the good spot. There's a huge one right now. Huge one. Got him? Got him? Yes, you got him. Short and fat one. Oh, look at that one. That one. Okay, put him in the bucket. This one, this spot's a lot better than the last one. This one, I think we caught in at least 10. The other one, we only caught two. We see one. Grab it, grab it. This one's pretty big. That's a nice bluegill. Bluegill will eat it. Okay, put it in the cup. This spot is way better than the other one. The other one, right over there, we only caught two. This one, we're at like 12. I think we're going to go move to a new spot. It's been about five minutes, and all the worms, if they're going to come up, it'll only take about five minutes. So, this was a mossy spot. There was, get you, get up, move. There was moss, like right there, and... So we've tried doing it right next to moss and that worked out. So we're gonna try finding another mossy spot around here. And we'll see you guys when we find a mossy spot. So we found the side of the, it's like a dirt mound. I don't know how this got it. It's a dirt mound. And on the side of it, it was really mossy. So we raked that out. Pretty black dirt and we're gonna pour it on and see what we get. So, we've been waiting for about five minutes. Nothing's really come up. Just a little tiny, a few little tiny small ones, but they're too small to keep. But, we're gonna go try finding another spot. This spot was no good, and that was, it was a fail. This spot was a fail. We'll see you guys when we, when we find a different spot. So, we're at our new spot. Got it all raked out. This is probably gonna be our last spot, because we only got a little bit of soap left, we don't have that much left. But it's been working pretty good. It's probably about 30, 40 worms. And we'll try the spot, see if we get anything. So, so we've been waiting for about five minutes. We didn't have that much soap left, so I only got them areas up there, and like right there. That wouldn't do anything because that's just foam, but I've been waiting for about five minutes. There's only like small ones like that one right there. There's nothing really big coming up. So that was our last spot. So all in all, it was pretty good. We caught about 50 to 100 worms. If you want to go out and catch a lot more and bigger ones, probably go out after rain and during the night. You probably catch a lot more and a lot bigger ones, but this is 
all the ones we caught and they've been soaking they've been soaking in our dish soap so they don't want them to get poisoned and die so before you keep them and put them in soil you gotta rinse them off to get all the soap water off of there so rinse them off Try getting all this right now. Yeah, try getting all the soap water off. So, because if they, if you, if there's still soap water on them. Uh, the soap water will poison them and they'll die, so you want to rinse them off really good. This would be a lot better if we had holes on the bottom so all the water could drain out, but... Just go out with what we have. Now we dropped on. So another important thing I forgot to add is you rinse them off use well water or water that doesn't have chlorine because the chlorine will kill uh the worms so it looks pretty good about 50 to 100 worms if you enjoyed the video smash the like button subscribe and we'll see you guys next time <laughs> <laughs> for, for some channel